Okay, so before we start playing by air, we have to identify the notes on the piano. Okay, so as you could see on the piano, the layout of the piano is black and white keys. Okay, so as you could see, the piano is grouped in black and white keys. So there are groups of two and groups of three white keys. Okay, so as you could see, groups of two. All right. And groups of three black keys. All right. All these are groups of three black keys. All right. So we need to identify the difference between a white and a black key. Okay. The black keys are called sharps or flats. Okay. So the role of this black keys uh, is simply to sharpen or flatten on a note. All right. But we'll get into this later on. Okay, so the very first note we will learn on the piano is the note C. Alright, now the note C is found before every two black keys on the piano. Okay, so this is how you find C. You look for the pair of two black keys. Okay, so we have our two black keys. Okay, you look for any set of two black keys and you play the white key before that two black keys okay so take for example we're here all right so that's two black keys i would play the white note before the two black keys so i land here so this is what you call c this is middle c because it is in the middle of the piano okay so two black keys here is c two black keys here is c and so on okay now in music we have something called a musical alphabet there is something I use called the musical alphabet where it's just letters okay and in music we have a musical alphabet which runs from A to G okay so that's the only notes we have in music okay A B C D E F and G okay there is no h there is no j or k in music we repeat or we go back to a after g okay so a b c d e f g back to a all right then we repeat the cycle okay so since we know that this is two black keys there is our C right here so we know that in the alphabet which note comes after C okay D comes after C so D is the other note so we have C D after D in the alphabet is E after E is F after F is G okay then what would come after G, right? A, okay, so we go back to A. Remember, there is no H, so after G, we get to A, and we complete the cycle. So G, A, B, C, and then we just continue. Okay, and so on and so on. All right, so this is a simple method you could use to learn the notes on the piano. Okay, so again, we, identi we identify our two black keys and then we get our c then we learn our notes from here so c d e f g a b c okay or if you would like you could start from the a which is here and practice your notes that way so a b c d e f g and repeat a b c d e f g right all right so this is for the white notes let's move on to the black keys okay like i said earlier the black keys is there to sharpen or flatten a note okay so if we look at this black key this black key will sharpen c all right so we have C here, this 
would be C sharp because we're sharpening C. Okay, if we're here at D, this note would be D sharp, okay, because we're sharpening D. Okay, then we get to F. This note would be, you guessed it, F sharp and so on. So G, this would be G sharp. This would be A sharp. Okay, so we have C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. The same way a, a black note could sharpen a note, it could also flatten a note. So let me explain this. So a while ago, these notes were used to sharpen notes this same notes could be used to flatten a note so let's say if we're on the note d this note is d flat okay so basically it's the same note okay so we was at c a while ago went up to this black note so this is c sharp okay then we're at d if we flatten this note it, it would be d flat okay so let's continue d this is d flat if this is E, this is E flat. G, G flat. A, A flat. B, and B flat. Okay? So, basically, these black notes, as I said earlier, they sharpen or flatten a note. So, they are called sharps or flats. So, this note is C sharp or D flat. Okay? This is D sharp or E flat this note is F sharp or G flat this note is G sharp or A flat then we have A sharp or B flat